Hello, my name is Dr. Julia Oliveira. I'm an endocrinologist from the Federal University of Sao Paulo, Brazil. We present a case of a 19-year-old male without any medical history who presented with a four-day complaint of diffuse abdominal pain, vomiting, and fever. On physical exam, he was dehydrated, tachycardic, and had postural hypotension. His abdominal exam called our attention to diffuse pain with equivocal rebound tenderness, leading to an initial suspicion of acute appendicitis. However, we noticed diffuse mucocutaneous darkening, mainly over the joints, nail beds, dorsum of the tongue, and gingivae. Lab tests revealed profound hyponatremia and high potassium levels, leading to a suspicion of Addison's disease. Blood was drawn for cortisol and ACTH, and he was promptly started on IV fluids and on a bolus of 100 mg of hydrocortisone. The patient's symptoms rapidly improved, and Addison's disease was confirmed by a low cortisol and very high ACTH levels. He tested negative for autoimmune adrenalitis, tuberculosis, HIV, and fungal infections. His levels of exa eicosanoic acid were three times above normal, leading to a suspicion of X-linked adrenal leukodystrophy, or XALD. Molecular sequencing confirmed this diagnosis, showing a single nucleotide substitution that disrupts the functioning of the ABCD1 protein. His mother was found to carry the same mutation. The patient denied any neurologic symptoms yet a mild left hemiparesis was noticed upon neurologic exam. This case has two main takeaway points. The first is that mucocutaneous darkening is a crucial clue for the diagnosis of Addison's disease, which is a life-threatening condition, and its other signs and symptoms are nonspecific. The second lesson is that we should never forget about XALD in young men with Addison's disease. The absence of neurologic symptoms does not exclude this condition, as it may occur as an isolated feature in up to 10% of cases. Thank you.